Oh, hey, welcome back to Slap Happy. Do you want to learn how to power slap? Let's go. In our last video, we talked about soft slapping, how to do it and when to do it. In this video, we are going to talk about hard slapping and power slapping. The difference between hard slapping and power slapping could just be where the ball goes, but the goal for both of these is to have the most power while you're slapping. Your footwork when you're hard slapping and power slapping should be a little bit slower because you want to load into your leg so that you can have power when you're hitting. The goal when we're hard slapping and power slapping is to hit a line drive or a hard ball through a gap. You want to try to find a hole in the infield or in the outfield and you want to keep the ball low because if you hit the ball into the air there's a better chance of them being able to catch it and you getting out. But if you keep the ball low, then you can use your speed and be safe. When you're slapping, you always want to read the defense to know what you're gonna do. Uh, we talked about in the last video, when you're soft slapping, usually you wanna try to do it when the defense is playing you back and so that you can make them have to come in on the ball. But when your defense is playing you in, that's when you wanna use your hard slaps and your power slaps so that you can get it through the infield. Always remember, warm up hitting before you start slapping. The next drill is going to be a progression to our crossover drill. So we're going to start in our 90 degree angle, just like this. Both of your toes and your body should be facing towards the pitcher. Your foot should still be at Tennessee, right about here. You're going to get in your stance, you're going to load back into your back heel. And then you're going to push your hip towards the pitcher as hard as you can. The next one is 45 degrees. So you'll be facing towards the shortstop. Everything should be facing towards the shortstop. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna load into your back heel and then push your hip towards the pitcher. Even though we're facing towards the shortstop, we still want to push our hip straight out towards the pitcher. Now we need to move our tee up to Louisiana because we are in slapper mode now. Um, should be about right there. I'm gonna have it like mid, kind of on the outside, but kind of down the middle just for this drill. And I'm gonna move my net. So this drill is like the crossover drill we did in the last video, but we're focusing on hitting line drives into the net because it's hard slapping and power slapping. So you're gonna start at Tennessee, cross over to Louisiana. You should be in this position. You should feel the load just like we were doing in the 90 and 45. You should feel it right here, and then a line drive into the net. The next drill is going to be called the knee down crossover drill. So you're, it's kind of like the last one. You're gonna start at Tennessee, cross over to Louisiana, and then you're gonna go down on your knee like this, back up, line drive, take a couple steps all the way through Missouri, Kansas, and Nebraska. Remember, on a hard slap and a power slap, our footwork is gonna be slower through the box because we really want to be able to load and get that power in our hip when we're hitting. And then in a soft slap, it'll be faster because we're just trying to tap and go to get to first base as soon as possible. The next row we are working on pitch location. So the first one that I like to start with is outside. So the outside pitch should be set up just behind Louisiana because since it's an outside pitch, you have to let it travel farther so that you can have a good bat angle to get it to go opposite field. And also make sure you set the tee up on the outside half of the plate. You can go from here to probably the end of the other batter's box. When you're younger, the pitches are going to pitch you outside more because when you're traveling through the box, you kind of lose plate proximity and you can't really tell how far away the ball is. Now, I'm going to move my net over so I don't miss and hit a house. Now, we are working on the pitch that's down the middle. This should be the ball that, when you see it, should be crushed, okay? I'm going to move my tee 
to a little bit out in front of Louisiana. So this is about where I would hit a ball down the middle. When you're hard slapping, you want to go with the pitch instead of being so perfect and precise and put it somewhere on the infield like you would when you're soft slapping. Now I'm hunting middle middle. Now we will be working on an inside pitch. This is the pitch that slappers probably work on the least amount of time, but this is also the pitch that you can drive the farthest and do the most damage. Now we will be moving our pitch to the inside. It should be on the inside part of the plate and it's gonna be more out in front than your down the middle pitch was. So it should be kind of at the first cone right here at Missouri. Make sure you have the ball set up on the inside part of the plate. Mine is set up right on the green, right there on the inside. Have you ever seen a team do a humongous shift on you and move their right fielder all the way into the infield and their left fielder all the way to the line and the center fielder all the way to the left field? Have you ever seen that? That pitcher better pray that she hits her outside corner because if I pick up a pitch that's coming inside, that ball is gone. Yeeted. Got him. I T P H. As a slapper, don't just settle for the outside corner. Learn how to go with the pitch in any location so you can mess up the defense in all parts of the field. Have you ever heard the phrase that slappers set the table? Well, now you can feed the family too. Hashtag Haley McClinney.